Why Reddick is in big trouble for 2023 because of RCR? What just happened? Will Reddick be able to deal with the situation? What he has said about the RCR and Kyle Busch regarding the 2023 year? Want to know everything in depth? If yes, then you are on the right channel. The NASCAR Zone is here to tell you everything. And if you find our video interesting, then do subscribe to our channel. So let's dive in. In the span of just five days, Reddick was able to lose both his crew for 2023 and his chances of winning the championship in 2022, making this one of the most frustrating weeks of 2022 for him. In July, the 26-year-old driver made public his intention to part ways with Richard Childress Racing at the conclusion of the 2023 racing season. The fact that Reddick informed Childress of his decision less than an hour before it was made public did not sit well with the owner of the team. Childress, who had been insulted, responded by announcing that Reddick's crew would be used by Kyle Busch the following year. Busch, a two-time winner of the Spring Cup, had been hired to replace Reddick a year before Reddick was even scheduled to leave his position. Our next driver at RCR for the eighth car, Mr. Kyle Busch, it's a big day for all of us. Childress has given Reddick his word that he will acquire a charter and drive a third car for him and he will provide additional details later on in this month. On the other hand, it had to hurt Reddick. Throughout the past two months, all he has talked about is Second racing as hard as he win. possibly can it's until the end of 2023 with a crew that has performed well with him. At Bristol, he appeared to be doing that until he was involved in an accident that damaged his vehicle to the point where it required extensive repairs on the pit road. This caused him to miss the race. In the end, he was knocked out of the running for the next round of the playoffs by two positions. Reddick was aware that he would not be able to control his own fate during the final stage of the race because he was 30 laps behind the leader and needed other drivers to crash in order to earn the points he required to advance. We were just tight and we tried to adjust on it, couldn't really make it better. Um, yeah, I saw the 99 get all crossed up, tried to avoid it. I got on the brakes, got ran over and um, same as last week, just got Heavy contact with the right front, broke the, the upper control arm. I'm glad we were able to fix it within the, you know, the DVP policy. But, yeah, it put us, put us behind, and we needed more crazy stuff to happen. It just didn't quite unfold that way. If you find our video interesting, then do subscribe to our channel. Now, Reddick must make it through the next month, and possibly more, with the knowledge that his future is only partially under his control. Reddick said of Childress, he said he has a plan and he has details for me. So we'll just see what they are when it's time to talk. Childress stated that the decision to change the crew was made easier by the hiring of Bush to replace Reddick because it would be detrimental to Bush to have one crew in his first year and a different crew in subsequent years. About an hour before the hiring of Bush was made public, he informed Reddick about the upcoming change in the crew for the following year. It is highly unlikely that this was done ironically. What views do you have on the issue of the crew that Bush will have? Let us know in the comments below. Reddick said that there was no tension during the event. No, it wasn't tense. Um, they just was filling me in on what was going on. And yeah, I understand because I'm moving on. So yeah, all good. Reddick chose not to engage in a verbal confrontation with the person who owned his car in the media. He looked at it from a business standpoint. It's the direction that, that RCR needs to take for their long-term goals and i understand that but they're a great team and they're going to have a lot of fun and they're they're getting a really good driver they're getting a really really good driver uh, you know after me so you know they're going to continue to have that success and have that strong drive behind the driver's seat so you know reddick can see how some people might take it on a personal level but that's not how he is doing it reddick won't find anything unusual about working with a new cast and crew the next year in the xfinity series he has competed for a total of seven different teams, three on a full-time or regular part-time basis, and four for select races. The one thing that he does not want to see happen is for the year 2023 to be treated as an afterthought. He works really hard and really wants it, so it ought to come together well. And altogether, he really excited about it. There is little reason to doubt that Reddick will continue to race at a high level. It is the only way he is familiar 
with competing in a race. He is fiercely competitive by nature. Austin Dillon, a member of the team that he is currently a part of, commented that Reddick does a really good job of tuning stuff out and just going to work. Tyler's a good dude. Me and him have a good relationship. He's just different. That's what's great about him because he's, he's a talented race car driver. He's fast and goes out there, always shows speed. And If Reddick could start working for 23 SI racing a year earlier, it would obviously make things much simpler for everyone involved. That is a distinct possibility in the event that Kurt Busch is unable to recover from the concussion that has sidelined him for the past two months. Denny Hamlin, who is also a co-owner of 23 Chi Racing, has stated that he will not pressure Kyle Busch to make a choice, and he is certain that Reddick will compete at a high level, no matter where he weans up. One thing that we've seen over the past couple of months is that Tyler Reddick has continued to be a professional. This is something that we've seen. He has been extremely dedicated to his team. Hamlin has complete faith that he will keep up his level of professionalism and remain unfazed by the challenges that are going to be presented to him regardless of the specifics of the situation. His adversaries are undoubtedly aware of his predicament and are curious about the loyalties that Reddick will display for the remainder of the season. A few weeks ago at Daytona, he demonstrated that he was still dedicated to his role as an RCR driver by helping to push Dillon to victory, which allowed Dillon to advance into the playoffs. Former Cup champion Joey Logano says that Reddick has to make his own decisions out there about what to do but he is sure it's a little awkward for him. And even everyone else supposes that it will be awkward for the following year as well. That is the question that needs to be answered. Who could say? Reddick has given the impression that he does not. Reddick responded that he have no control over the situation. He has already let everyone know that he intends to fulfill my obligations at RCR and see them through to the end. Reddick wants to see that through to the end, whether that is the number eight car or whatever car it will be. What do you think of the current RCR situation? Let us know in the comments below. If you find our video interesting then, do subscribe to our channel. There was a lot of discussion in the NASCAR Cup Series garage about whether or not the tires would be able to withstand the loads at Bristol. During some of the manufacturer testing, the teams had observed that the Bristol track presented a distinct set of obstacles to overcome. Several drivers had tire problems, which made it frustrating to watch that come to fruition as it unfolded. Goodyear faces a challenge every time it tries to match a tire to a track to a car, and this challenge remains constant regardless of whether the car or the racing surface is brand new. In the same way that the racing team does not always perform optimally, neither does Goodyear. However, when it's a three-race playoff round, the spotlight and the scrutiny are turned up to a higher level. Both Goodyear and NASCAR have demonstrated that they are willing to react and work to find a better tire for the upcoming race. The fact that they have several months to figure it out at Bristol is a positive aspect of the track, as the spring race at Bristol next year will be held on dirt, which will cover the concrete surface. What do you think will Reddick be able to handle the situation? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for today. Hope you all liked our video. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.